But who says raising a baby like this one is easy? It is not only physically exhausting, but also emotionally draining. So imagine multiplying different parental responsibilities and handling all of them by yourself. Do you think you can handle it? Well, solo parents know what it feels like as they try to juggle being a mom and a dad at the same time. Being a parent is really difficult. Tatakbo mo yung sarili mo sa ospital, manganganak ka, ilalabas mo yung sarili mo sa ospital ng solo. It is such a struggle, not only because of breastfeeding, like emotionally. When you search for an image of a family, this is what you usually see. But it's not really what other people's families look like. In 2007, a study done by UP National Institute for Health found that there were 14 million solo parents in the Philippines. With this, the Federation of Solo Parents Lose Them In estimates that there are now around 17 to 18 million solo parents in the country, in which 95% are single mothers. I'm Trixie Ayuko, a single mother of four. I'm Edna Calma, and I have two kids. I'm Dia Rino. I'm a mom of a seven-month-old baby. I'm Irene Manansala. I have three kids. They're all boys. I'm Tina Stojero, and I have two kids. Being a solo parent is a life full of challenges and trials. Meet Carrie Javier. She is currently the national president of Federation of Solo Parents Lose Women. The stigma against solo parents, especially single moms, it's alive. It's thriving in this country. It's very sad. Kapag single mom, hinuhusgahan ka. Ang tingin sa'yo is kasi ginusto mo yan. That's why you're in that position. What's more painful is these kind of mocking are coming from your own family. There were lots of negative things that they were saying about me. It's all of the woman's fault. The only reason why a certain family will become dysfunctional is because of the wife. In the Philippines, the stigma on solo parenting is stronger in rural regions. I have not experienced anything of that sort yet, maybe because I am in a good environment, like I'm in a good place at, at the office, like everyone understands, and also at home. Actually, most of them are telling me that you're a strong woman. But stigma is not the only item in the basket of challenges to single mothers. For solo parents Dee and Trixie, who both recently gave birth, going back to work was not easy. Dividing time, like I believe that's everyone's own struggle. It is uh, trying to be there in every single moment of their life and also have to be there to provide for them. With a single parent, it could be very stressful. It, life is dependent on you. That can be like overwhelmingly, you know, psychologically stressful. Meet Dr. Gurley Monterona, Tassis' resident psychologist. In an ideal setting, you know, you'd be there for your kid like 24-7. For single moms who have regular corporate jobs, leaving their infant to a relative or a nanny is the easy option. But being away from your offspring in their first two years is not a good idea. According to research, maternal employment during a child's first year appears to negatively affect subsequent cognitive test scores and is associated with increases in behavioral problems. So dati kong trabaho, nakapag maternity leave ako, Three months lang siya, tapos hindi pa siya paid. Unlike pagkapasok ko ng task us, kaka-regular ko pa lang noon, four months yun paid. Mas kasama ko yung baby ko, mas na-enjoy ko yung pagiging mother ko sa baby ko. It is a struggle that I needed to go back to work. How I overcome that, my teammates also helped me. They updated me beforehand, like this is what is happening now in the office. I am actually very lucky that I live like 15 minutes away from the office, so I basically have almost the rest of the day with my child. So, pagbalik ko ng work after maternity leave, nalungkot talaga ako kasi hindi ko na siya araw-araw makikita. Pero dahil gawa na nga ng social media during lunch and break, nagbibideo ko kami. The child's early developmental years, the mother's presence is very important. First two years of life is actually the period wherein the child forms an attachment. This is very important because the kid's uh, brain development depends on this. If this does not occur, it can have like negative consequences. The kid may have a decline in intelligence. The kid will also have aggression in the future. He can actually develop depression also during the teenage years. The kid can also have like delinquency or like a personality disorder. My relationship with my eldest, it's not that easy. Kasi hindi siya nakikinig talaga. Mahirap pasunurin yung panganay kasi wala yung guidance. Iniwang ko siya five months lang siya. Tapos nung bumalik ako, three years old na siya. Iniwang ko ulit siya ng almost three years dahil nag-Hong Kong ako. Pagbalik ko, eto na siya. 
that's the, the consequence of having a parent who's an OFW. Of course, the attachment is not there, especially if the kid grew up with someone else. Sometimes the parents come home and they're like strangers to their kid. Pero siyempre, sabi nga nila step by step, dahil ikaw yung nanay, magagawa mo yan. Hindi ibang tao. As solo parents take the role of a mom and a dad, they often need extra time to attend to their child's needs. In our pages, we receive several complaints from solo parents, employees, mostly coming from private companies. What are these issues? They're being deprived of their right to avail of the seven-day parental leave. No, Because it's stated under the law that all legitimate solo parents, as long as they have rendered one year or more of service in an agency or a company, be it government or private, is entitled to avail of the seven-day parental leave. Yep, you heard it right. Rights like this is just one of the benefits a solo parent can avail under Republic Act Number 8972, otherwise known as Solo Parent Welfare Act of 2000. Basically, it was enacted to provide support mechanisms to solo parents and their children, to help solo parents cope with the burden and challenges of solo parenthood. Under the law, eligible solo parents are entitled to have seven days additional leave credits, psychological help, assistance from government agencies like DAP-Ed, CHED, and TESA for educational needs, comprehensive livelihood programs, and many more. So, who are considered as solo parents? There are 10 categories under the law. Victim of rape, abandoned, unmarried, widow, widower, when your spouse is detained, serving a jail sentence, when your spouse has a mental, physical incapacity, or annulled, legally separated, de facto separated, or any family member who serves as a solo parent to her or his siblings or younger members of the family. But before you avail those privileges, you need to have your solo parent ID first to be requested from your city or municipal social welfare and development office. I have been benefiting from uh, this, especially during the times that my kids are kind of sick and I really need to look after them. Because in any instance that you need to be out in an emergency basis, you just have to present some kind of document if it's late notice and with no question it would automatically be approved. It really helps me a lot. On top of my planned leaves and unplanned leave credits. Nagamit ko siya sa graduation, activities ng bata sa school, birthday nila nandun ka. The struggle of single parents doesn't end there. Subsequent with the need to make a living, looking for good childcare is one of her major problems. And while a mother is in the workplace, this concern can affect her psychological and emotional status. You're worried about the kid, but you also worry about yourself. Can you take the worry? Because you feel like, am I being a mom if I'm not there? Or am I being a mom if I don't have anything to provide for him? You always worry about your kids. Sometimes, any time of the day, you think about them. While you're preparing for work, and you're seeing them sleeping or just lying down and about to cry because you're gonna leave again, it's really breaking your heart. In 2006, an employer survey reported the highest incidence of solo parents in the business processing and telecommunications sectors. Another major concern of solo parents is child care. Yung walang mapag-iwanan sa anak, especially those who work irregular hours, say graveyard shift. The solution that the Federation is actually thinking of proposing to companies is to have a daycare center wherein the solo parent employee could leave their children, no, say for the duration of their working time, and somebody could look after their kid. Way back on my previous job, in a weekly basis, I only spend less than like 40 hours with them. But now that I've decided to move back in Pampanga, I can spend more than that because we have our company daycare. Every weekend, sinasama ko yung dalawang bata para malesen yung bayad ko rin sa yaya. At the same time, during break time, nakikita ko na monitor ko yung dalawang anak ko kung ano yung ginagawa, kamusta sila. Tapos lunchtime, magkakasama kami. Tapos pag uwian, Sama -sama din kami. So it's more of the quality time that you spend with your kid. It's not like you know the length or the duration that, that you have with your kid. And make sure that you know that the time you spend with them, you do a lot of stuff together that you know both of you enjoy. So, what do solo parents really need? Wag natin husgahan, kasi we really don't know that person's story. Remove the stigma. Treat solo parents as equal. What solo parents need is understanding. 
the single parent faces really a lot of challenges. So of course, single parent needs all the support that he or she can get. Because at the end of the day, they may be single parents. But that doesn't mean I am less of a parent. But that doesn't mean that I am weak. But I am not afraid. But I am a strong one. But I am not alone. Please do not call solo parent-headed families broken families. Because we are not broken, we are whole, we are complete.